if we are able to predict and preempt God, knowing what is His exact next move, then let me tell you, He is not God, you are God. Because if you are so smart, you're able to know what He's going to do. That's not how it is. I've always found that in my walk with God, in our walk with God, you always find God astonishing you, surprising you, doing things that you never imagined. But that's our God. That's how He is like. So when Cleopas and, and Mary said this in verse 21, chapter 24, and I just want the musicians to take, take your place and sing us. He says, but we were hoping, you see the word, but we were hoping that it was He who was going to redeem Israel. He shouldn't have used the word but. He should have said, instead of saying hoping, he should have said, they crucified him and that was how he indeed redeemed Israel. But we couldn't see it. They couldn't. They couldn't see that. For example, the Jews have all along believed a story of how God would redeem Israel from suffering. But it was instead the story of how God will redeem Israel through suffering. Sometimes it's just that change of words. Deliver me from suffering. God says, no, I will deliver you through suffering. I will restore you. I will let you know who I am through, not from suffering. Renew your mind, church. Turn your face face Jesus again. Come back to Jerusalem. Come back to the house of God. Jesus told them and He knew he, they, they cannot leave Jerusalem because they need to wait for the power from on high, the Holy Spirit to come. So it is wrong to leave. So He turns them back. Church, hang in there. Stick it out. God is going to do amazing things in your life. He is a faithful bridegroom. He will not leave us stranded. He will never leave us forsaken. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. So what have we learned today? Five points. To see the mystery of God in the mess of humanity. You see Jesus the Messiah. You see Jesus, the Passover Lamb. You see Jesus, the Bridegroom, the King on a cross, the Resurrected Lord. All surrounding His, what He would accomplish at Jerusalem, which is His death, His disease. And in this account, and you look at all the Gospels, they do the same thing. Surrounding this, what we call the Passion Week, the week where Jesus was going to the cross, you could see all kinds of characters against Him. Judas would betray Him. The chief priests and the, the scribes, they would plot so that they can catch Him at His words, so that they can nail Him to the cross. You see, Pilate and Herod, the Bible says, Pilate and Herod were enemies. They didn't talk. Do you know they didn't talk? But because of Jesus, because of wanting to nail Him to the cross, they became friends just to nail Jesus, enemies became friends. And this was how the, the writers of the gospel painted this whole week and this whole picture. The mess of humanity surrounding this mystery of God, this message of Jesus Christ. Jesus is our greatest hope. Don't give up. And all the people say, 